guys i got my hair done myself uh, what do you guys think i think i did really well this is what the back looks like the back is really rough to be honest it's not the best but i am very very proud of myself i feel like i did very well let me know how i did in the comment section but i think i did really well if you don't know who i am hi my name is Doreen. i am a medical student and a content creator who lives in Lagos, nigeria here on this channel i create content about personal development my christian journey and my life as a 20 something year old student who is just like figuring out a lot of things and navigating through life working towards her future and living her best life in christ okay so if that's something you like please click on the subscribe button and join the farm i love to have you here okay today's video is going to be a very much needed update i'm just going to be talking about all the things that i have been dealing with and the different aspects of this 20 something year old life trying to work towards your future trying to do something for yourself and all the things that i have been dealing with first we're going to talk about getting a degree <clears throat> just give a bit of context i think you should watch this video so this is me on my matriculation day in january 2017 had just gained admission the previous year to study medicine and surgery and as you can see i was so excited to begin that journey and for my calculation, medicine and surgery is a six-year course, so give or take, by 2022, people should start calling me Dr. Dodo for short. Little did I know that Nigeria will stay in your white, and things are not always as they seem. Because there has been a strike every single year since I was in my first year. You can't make that up. Well, the purpose of this video is not to rant and complain, because seriously, I'm tired of doing that. I'm just here to say that my life is in God's hands and not Asu. So whether they like it or not, I will eventually collect this degree. This is me just sharing my story and taking you along the journey to becoming Dr. Dodo. So let's call this episode one. No matter how engaged you are, this strike period is still a lot. It's still a lot. Like sometimes I just think about it and I'm like, why am I still a student? And it's so annoying when you go out and people are <laughs> asked this just yesterday in church. And people meet you and they're like, oh, hi, my name is this, what's your name? I say, Dory, next thing is, what do you do? Because, guys, I look like someone who has a life together. I look like someone who is working, earning dollars. It's not something to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of it in any way, but it's just annoying that I always have to say I'm a student. I am meeting people with, like, very cool careers, like, I'm a web developer, I'm a project manager, I'm a product designer, I'm a tech recruitment this, I'm a this, that, I'm a UI, UX designer, I'm a this, I'm a... And you're just there like, I mean, I'm just trying to get my degree from, like, that's all. The worst part of it all is I'm not even close to graduation, guys. Like, I'm not close to graduating. I know there are so many people who are in final year and they just have, like, one semester left or one exam left and they're done and they've gotten their degree. But for me, I have, like, without strike, I have two whole complete years to do in med school. Two whole years, guys. Two whole complete years. And it's a loss. Med school is long in itself. And then the fact that strike has delayed me so much. Like, my ID card freaking expires this year. No jokes. And there's this pressure to, like, be relevant. And to be honest, I'm the biggest advocate of being relevant in seasons like this. And just trying to learn as many skills as you can and stuff like that. But it doesn't take away the fact that it's hard. It's hard. Especially because... When this track is over, you're actually going to have to go back to... Hmm, was that English correct? But you're going to go back to your regular school life. For example, if you're studying law, medicine, or anything, and you're not close to being done, no matter how much you learn UI, UX design, when school is, you know what are you going to do? I'm going to go back to something, something, 401, something, something, 501. Like, that's what's going to happen. Like, no matter how much you love what you're doing now, you're still going to have to get that degree because there's that point where you know that you don't have to use your degree. So you're learning a skill you know you can monetize and you can just like branch off and pivot. But at the same time, you can't mess up your degree should in case anything happens. So yes, you're not sure you're going to practice medicine, but it doesn't mean you want to go and fill medical school. Do you understand? So you still have to pass that. So it's a lot. And just the fact that there's a, there's a season of your life that's meant to end at a particular time. And a lot of us tie things down to when we get degrees. Like, relocation so many people just decide that after i get my degree i'll relocate or i get my first apartment or i get married like a lot of things are tied to getting a degree first okay especially in this culture and now that like plans are just everywhere zigzag everywhere everywhere everything's just rubbish you don't even know 
you can't even plan like that because you don't even know when this track is going to get called up so you're not sure should i do it should i not should i travel should i not should i get married or people i want to get married <laughs> should i not like it's a lot if your student is affected by the acid strike i just want to say i feel you honey like and how are you doing really ask me in the comment section right now like how are you doing how are you coping i mean it's been months i hope like you're taking it easy on yourself i'm just trying to do the best you can with what you have right now i hope you're mentally good and fine honestly i want to know how you're doing so let me know in the comments so yeah let's move to the next thing which is building a career we are in this era of switching careers like everybody's just switching i went from this to this i studied this and now i'm this i think we started to downplay how hard it actually is switching careers is not easy fam especially when you study a course that takes a chunk of your life like law medicine some engineering courses and so many other courses like that nursing when you do courses like that they take a big chunk of your life it's not four years and it's not even five okay it's six seven eight Switching is not easy. I'm not saying it's difficult, like, oh, it's so hard, it's impossible, but it's not easy, okay? The easier thing to do is to study something and build a career out of it. That's the most straightforward, the easiest route, okay? So getting to that point where you study this, but nope, you have to go and start taking courses again, learning skills and all of that. <laughs> For me, I have been thinking about switching to marketing. Like, I've actually even been taking steps towards that. I can't exactly switch up right now because I'm still in school and I still have to get it MBBS, so I like it or not, okay? <laughs> but I have taken some courses on marketing oh, and digital marketing, social media marketing. That's kind of where I'm tending towards because it's something I already do as a content creator. I'm just trying to see how I can build a career out of it. I just don't want to be a content creator and that's it. I want to actually like build skill, build expertise in like social media marketing i can i can work with brands firms start my own thing you know based off on this and it's really tied down to something i'm already very passionate about i'm taking one course i have a certificate from that it was a fundamental course and i'm taking another one which is very long and i don't know if i'm gonna finish it to be honest but but yeah i'm just trying to get all the knowledge that i can learning everything i can watching videos on youtube there's some marketing videos on youtube there's some podcast you know i'm just trying to like get all the knowledge and i really enjoy it so that also is something that i can start even before i graduate so i'm really really working towards that okay but yeah there's just a lot of pressure to build a career even if you are a graduate already there's already this there's just this pressure to like build your career now and i know that everyone should be working towards building a career but like there's just this pressure to have it figured out, okay? And honestly, I don't think you have to have it all figured out. Just make sure that you're not idle. That's the most important thing. And be led by the spirits because you also don't want to be doing something that it does not have anything to do with what you came on the earth to do at all. Like, you don't want to be away from God's plan for your life. So just be led by the spirit and just like let God lead and just take the right steps and decisions and understand that you kind of... You really don't have to have it figured out like right now. I'm talking to myself as well because sometimes I put myself under unnecessary pressure. But I'm trying to change your car. Now let's move to money, finances, bro. I don't think I've ever talked about money on this channel. And it's simply because, like I said, there's certain things I just don't feel qualified to talk about. But I also think I can just share my personal experience and my journey, not necessarily teaching anybody anything. And when it comes to finances, you guys the pressure is getting worse wow the pressure is getting worse hey the guys are giving up hey because bro making money is now relatively easier with the rise of social media and lots of remote jobs and just people are learning how to like monetize skills and a lot of things and your knowledge and a lot of things but there's this undue pressure to be so financially stable right now i mean you're watching videos and you're seeing things like save invest this that emergency fund this and that how much do i have yeah you're hearing things like buy stock real estate this that. and i'm like you kind of have to be earning money for you to be able to invest anything you cannot save save from what there's no steady flow of income entry in my pockets there is no steady flow 
I'm still very dependent on my parents, okay? And even though nobody wants to ask their parents for things like data and stuff like that, so you kind of have to find something that can provide that. And thankfully, to a very good extent, content creation is starting to give me small, small, nothing serious, to be honest, okay? And nobody talks about the fact that you, you work towards financial freedom. It's not like you just lands on your lap especially if you're not from a place where you have everything you want you can just say oh daddy i need one million I have to upgrade my equipment and they'll give it to you hmm. if you're not from that kind of household you kind of have to work towards everything and they'll say learn skills learn skills do you know that you have to learn the skill to an extent before you can monetize it hmm? some of the things take time things like youtube takes time like so many things take time to build and people just make it seem like it's such a like it's so light like it's so easy even with businesses farm like some businesses take time before they pick up and start making you the kind of money that you want okay i mean if you're trying to be legal here because if you want to go illegal bro you don't need time at all success will land on your lap like that but like with legal means of making money everything needs time i'm not saying slow but they need time to build okay and we just don't talk about that stuff. Everybody is just so financially wise and giving financial advice. And if you're not careful, it's very easy to start feeling like a victim, wanting to compare yourself, like, oh my gosh, I don't have any money. All these people seem like they're financially stable. Especially when you see your age mates taking certain strides, doing certain things for themselves, and you're just like, bro, when am I going to get to this point? Or you even see people who are older than you by a few years getting their own apartments, being able to afford certain things, and you're just like, as I am now, when I'm their age, will I have distance? You know, like, it's, it's a lot of pressure, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. I mean, I am a firm believer in having multiple sources of income. I am working towards that myself. But I'm still at this point where a lot of things I'm doing are building, okay? I'm building right now. They have not gotten to the point where I'm sitting down and things are making me money, okay? I'm not gotten to that point. I'm building my YouTube. I'm building my... My social media presence in general i'm building my skills when it comes to marketing my businesses and everything we're going to come to that but i'm building these things right so nothing is like you get so, so yeah sometimes the pressure is just too much sometimes you may just feel like you're failing because you can't afford to do certain things but i think this is one of the reasons why i hold on to my faith so dearly because if god teaches you contentment bro when you have content with what you have and you know how to work towards better things without feeling like, without being discontent basically and ungrateful, you kind of have peace. So that is still my peace consistently, to be honest. I just have the thought here and there. And on social media, you see everybody's wings. So it's very easy for you to feel some type of way, but you just have to like bring yourself back. Like, girl, come back. That's them. This is you. Work towards your own, what are your own grass? You're going to get there someday, okay? So yeah, that's it about finances. If you can relate to it, let me know in the comment section. Let's not be that it's only me that is dealing with this thing. And I'm assuming that all of you can relate. And it's actually only me. That would be painful. Next up is anti-YouTube. <laughs> let me take a bit of water because I've been talking for quite a while. So guys, to be honest, in the past, in the past month or two months, I have thought about quitting my YouTube channel like so many times. <sighs> like, I can't even, I, I don't know if I have the right words to explain how I've been feeling because YouTube has been my slowest growing platform yet, okay? And I haven't even experienced fast growth on my other platforms. Well, except on Twitter. I grew pretty fast on Twitter. But like, on my Instagram, I, I've been doing this for years, man. So I know that nothing that is there is just like it's not like i grew fast there either okay i've been doing this for years and i think right now i'm just at the point where god is multiplying my influence and impact but it's also as a result of the work i've been doing for years okay but youtube has been taking its precious time just moving slowly you know don't disturb me she's such a classy babe okay she, she's just catwalking like she's not She's not moving with the times because sometimes I just I get so discouraged because like I'm trying to put in the work here, okay? I mean, if you notice, I haven't posted anything about a month because I was just like, I don't want to do it again. Like, I'm just tired. Like, let's just keep this YouTube channel somewhere. Let me focus on the things that I want to grow. If this channel doesn't want to grow, then bye. 
but like i know i can't give up on it at the end of the day that's the thing i know i can't give up on it i i have too many convictions not to give up and i've talked about some of them on the channel but even though regardless of still this channel is to frustrate me sometimes sometimes i'm like girl i just speed it up walk faster like move faster like please uh, the thing about youtube is it's a lot of work and it's painful when you work is not even the kind of results you want it's long form content there's a lot of brain work that goes into it and then the editing like instagram videos it doesn't take me <laughs> like when i know what i want to do editing here is fast with youtube it takes quite a while you know so many things have to be in place with your setup instagram you can just go out and do a reel I can go to a restaurant and just film the road, film the food, film the this, and that's it. Like, I'm not saying, again, I'm not downplaying it, but I'm trying to get you to know that YouTube is more work. So when it's not working, you're just feeling like, I'm tired, you know? And I just got to that point where I was just like, you know what, should I just drop YouTube and focus on other things? I know I won't, I will not do that, but I had the thought of, you know, just quitting my YouTube channel. I got very bored of my kind of content, to be honest. And you're going to notice that a lot of things are going to switch up around here. <laughs> By the way, this face, this face you guys are seeing, this bare face without makeup, get used to it. Because I just got tired of, I don't enjoy wearing makeup as much right now because I need to get new makeup. So my current makeup products are not exciting to me. And so I don't enjoy wearing makeup like that. You know, if you notice, if you've ever met me in public, you notice that I'm probably not wearing makeup, right? <laughs> so, um, I don't enjoy it as much anymore and having to do my makeup when i want to film videos just not giving anymore i just got bored of the whole sitting down one it was i wasn't expressing my creativity enough i'm just like oh, i don't know what to do but yeah I, i've gotten to that point where i'm like you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna share i'm just gonna whatever comes to my head i'm not gonna overthink it i'm just gonna deliver i'm just gonna drop it okay obviously I'm still going to think about the value, the excellence. I'll be as authentic as I can and apply strategy as much as I can. But I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to wait for it to be too put together. I'm just tired of that. I'm not like giving myself mental gymnastics. <sighs> Bruh, that was a mouthful. I want to blow on YouTube fast. Just marry. Once you marry, come and tell us how you met him. Wedding night. One thing, one thing. You don't have to bring him more. You can do the video alone. But just talk about marriage, talk about relationship here and there. You'll get views. You'll get subscribers. If you now bring him, oh my gosh, it will blow. Okay? Just do it in a very, you people should look aesthetic. Do it beautifully, you know? It will blow. Guys, relationship content on YouTube. I fear, I fear you guys on this app. The way you guys rush it, I'm at that point where we YouTube. I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to express my creativity a lot more and not put myself in a box basically because that's what i did for a long time i just put myself in a box like my videos have to look like this and they don't they really don't the last thing i want to talk about um business okay um i never talked about it on my channel but guys i wanted to start a business but currently i can't say i'm failing at it because i business actually never launched but um i started <laughs> it's so crazy because this idea came back in january and i started working on it in march february or march i think it was march i wanted to launch april easter that didn't work out i moved it to may that didn't work out and i've just i've gone through a lot okay somebody is currently with my money he has not given me back my money like it's just been a lot i can't tell you guys what the business is, was meant to be about right now but it was a lot i've been through a lot with this business and for now it's on hold and sometimes it just feels like i failed because i already opened an instagram account i announced it on my insta story back in april or march i can't remember i think it was in april i announced it because i thought i was going to launch soon but that just hasn't worked i'm just at that point where i'm like okay god gave me the idea around with it i obeyed okay and that's not failure to me it feels like i failed um i'm so happy that nobody on instagram has ever asked me okay because i mean you know but yeah the business is going to launch eventually and you guys are going to know all about it i'll take you through the journey but for now i just want you to know that <laughs> i was working in the business and it failed it just yeah it's not yeah yeah so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope that you watched it to this point you did 
you're such a gem i love you okay if you are not following me on instagram you should you definitely should my handle is going to come up on screen right now there's also something i'm really working on that i should launch sometime next week i'm not very sure yet but i think i'm going to launch that next week it's not a business but i think it's something that i don't know i don't want to give too much away you guys are going to see it when i eventually launch it and i'm probably going to take you guys through the process on here as well but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video yeah everyone okay and <laughs> yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye